Hello, I'm Greg Nichols, Science and Technology Advisor for the Homeland Defense and Security Information Analysis Center. Today we're going to continue to talk about critical infrastructure, but we're going to talk about some new technologies that we can use to help us maintain those components. What are the uh, primary instruments that we have seen used in maintenance of critical infrastructure are drones. And drones, as many of us know, have been used in a lot of combat-related operations, but they can also be used to maintain components of infrastructure, uh, such as bridges, dams, tunnels, pipelines, etc. One of the um, most promising technologies is putting a, a sensor on a drone and having it fly over one of these components. And we can actually monitor uh, structural failure um, in things such as bridges and dams. Um, what is commonly used is a way to detect uh, the changes in heat between um, a component that is failing versus a component that isn't. So for example, uh, we can use drones fitted with thermal sensors to fly over dams and we can see changes in heat uh, where there might be a crack developing. We can also use this to look at parts of the power grid. Whenever a component is about to, uh, to fail, it usually heats up and the thermal energy is a lot higher in that component than it is in the surrounding area. So the difference in the temperature can alert us to something that's about to fail and we can actually send a crew out to replace that before it becomes a, um, a disaster. And one of the other components that we often see in critical infrastructures that can fail are pipelines, things that transport water or even oil or gas. And so having drones fitted with sensors, again, looking at thermal imaging, we can actually see differences in the flow in these pipelines. And if the flow seems to be off compared to what it should be, we can um, assume that there could be a leak there and we can actually send crews to go out and to fix that area of the pipeline long before it would even fail to the point where we would have to evacuate a community. And so because we have this vast network of critical infrastructure in the United States, um, it becomes difficult to maintain some of these components by having uh, boots on the ground, if you will. So having drones fitted with things such as thermal sensors actually allows us to patrol and maintain a uh, larger network in a more efficient manner. So thanks again for tuning in today. And you can always follow us on Twitter. And for more information about drones and how we can use them in critical infrastructure protection, go to hdiac.org.